How to get your photos and videos off of your Canon R50 and onto your smartphone. Today, I'll show you how to do just that. All right, so the first step you're gonna wanna do is have your camera and your phone already set up and connected to each other. If you don't know how to do that, I have another video that's up here in the card where I'll show you guys how to do that. So definitely do that before continuing on. But once you have them connected, um, you're just gonna wanna um, click one of these items here where it says import images and it's gonna be searching for network. And on your camera and on your phone, it's gonna start searching. You're gonna hit connect, connecting via Wi-Fi. All right, so once it says connection established, here on the phone, I don't have any pictures, but um, over here on the camera is where the magic will happen. So let me just take a couple test photos right here and we'll see it pop up on my phone. So let's take one here. And let's just give it a minute here to appear then there you go. There is the files. So as you can see here, you can be shooting your photos or shooting your video and then have the photo pop up right here. So let's actually um, shoot like a short couple second video right here just to demonstrate it. So here we go. One, two, three. Yeah, so three seconds is good enough. So we're just gonna hit OK. Oh, exit it out. But then if you look right there, it shows that sh that video and then you have all the options here at the bottom info rating import apps or delete so yeah uh, if you want to download these pictures here onto your phone we're just gonna go here and hit import uh, it gives you all these different um, settings here that you uh, ask you if you want to do so first off here it says the JPEG format save size you're gonna choose reduced or or not I don't want it reduced, uh, movie safe quality, we're gonna want it, uh, it compressed or not, I don't want it compressed, and delete the location information. Um, there's a setting here that you can turn on the location that's on your camera, so like if you're, for example, traveling and you wanna have the location of where you were when you took that picture while traveling, you wanna uh, you know, leave that location data on those pictures. So this is gonna ask you if you wanna delete that location data. For me, I'll turn it off, um, you know, you never know you, when you might knew that. And then, you know, use these settings from now on. I'm just gonna leave the unchecked because I might change my mind. So hit okay. And yeah, so it's gonna show here, downloading that image onto your phone and you can open it in your photo app. So let's see. Yeah, I have my photo. <laughs> Pretty lame photo, but it does what it says it does. So we're just gonna go back and then we're gonna do the video real quick to show you how to do it. But it's pretty much the same thing. You can hit import. All right, and it's gonna download it, but I just don't wanna do that right now. And one more thing before we go, if you click here on the shoot, you can do remote live shooting. So as you can see here, I'm moving the camera around and you can see it live on my phone. So like point it towards me right now. But yeah, so once you have the R50 connected to your phone, you can do cool things like live shooting like I'm doing right now and transferring the photos over to your smartphone um, as you're shooting. There are several more items that I could cover here, but I'm not gonna do it in this video, but if you wanna see them, leave them down in the comments below. Now you might be wondering, how do I get my files from the camera over onto my computer? Now in this video on screen right now, I'll show you guys how to do just that. Thank you guys for watching.